friends, today we would like to share something about a pulse meter. So first question is, what is pulse meter? Pulse meter is a device which is used to provide long invasive monitor for oxygen situation. The device is usually placed on the fingertip or elbow, maybe across the foot for babies. We can see the, emit, the oximeter emits two light or with different uh, wavelengths that pass through the body to a photo detector. These two light beams in the small vessel or capillaries, which consist of circulating blood. These light beams are responsible for determination of oxygen situation in the blood along with the current pulse rate in the person's body. Why we use pulse meter? Pulse meter is used to remind people if they are in danger of hypoxia or hypoxemia. Hypoxia is a state in which the supply of oxygen is insufficient for normal functions. Hypoxemia is a state where there is a low arterial oxygen supply. Hypoxia or hypoxemia acute and severe symptoms include shortness of breath, rapid breathing, fast heart rate, inability to communicate, confusion, coma or death. Hypoxemia can lead to hypoxia for main uh, in various tissues and organs, with the most severe being cerebral hypoxia that can rapidly cause brain damage or death. So it is such important uh, to keep an eye on your oxygen situation with pulse meters. So who need to use pulse meter? Well, we wonder the pulse meter is suitable for whom? Firstly, we have to mention people with respiratory diseases. The difficulty is in breathing can lead to the lack of oxygen uptake. Take asthma for example. Asthma can make tiny organs blocked, difficulties in gas exchange, causing damage of heart and lung by lack of oxygen. Moreover, it may make the brain or even different levels of injury, uh, renary injury. Therefore, pulsometer can be used to, to detect the blood oxygen situation, which will greatly reduce the incidence of respiratory tract. People with vascular, vascular disease are also one of main group to be monitor oxygen situation. As the vascular cavity has lipid deposition, results in the unsmooth blood and uh, poor blood supply. If patients have long-term hypoxia, the heart, the brain, and other oxygen consumer organs function will gradually decline. What would be even worse is that it occurs cerebral infection or heart attack. Patients would be at risk of sudden death if have not taken first aid. Therefore, pulse meters are the excellent tools for this group of people to monitor SPO2 every day. Let's talk about children. For newborns, the potential heart or lung problems, infections, primary issues that may not uh, be visible. We need oximeter to monitor their real-time status. For no birth weight babies, they may have produced their apnea or bradycardia damage and need breathing, as well as monitor their oxygen situation in real time. When the child has a fever, Monitor the blood oxygen condition at any time can help effectively prevent pneumonia. In a fast-paced city life, more and more people work over time. So this group of people also need to take care of their condition. For overworked people, the more hours they are working for a day, the brain work transition goes up. The higher brain oxygen consumption, consumption rises up. As it is known, the more brain oxygen consumption rises up, the less oxygen supply meets the need. People will feel dizzy, hypnosis, and lack in response. 
it may have severe dangers to brain and heart muscle or even cause sudden deaths by overwork. Then we cannot neglect the aging population these days. More and more elder people are stay home and alone. Moreover, aging body are easy to get troubles. For example, physiological aging of cardiopulmonary organs has an adequate oxygen uptake. But body hairs rely on the blood to transmit oxygen regularly. So that the pulse meter plays a very important role to cope with the elderly day. Once the blood oxygen level is lower than the lunch, the corresponding measurement should be acted as soon as possible. Nowadays, outdoor enthusiasts increase fast, and some sports environment are different from ordinary condition. For example, sports like mountain climbing. Mountain climbs in high altitude have to face with oxygen level changes, which directly impact their oxygen uptake. So that it is quite necessary to monitor their conditions t from time to time. In order to find if their oxygen situation is in the normal range, help guide against hypoxia and uh, help from prevent them from being Synthesis. Meanwhile, blood oxygen level of isolates monitoring in real time helps understand the circulation of after a large amount of exercises to guide the development of physical activities of the athletes. Up to now, we have shared with you all what is pulse meter, the purpose of using pulse Pulse meter and who should use pulse meter. Now we will talk about what pulse meters are in the market. First of all, fingertip pulse meter. A fingertip pulse meter is equipped with technology to rapidly uh, monitor the change of your oxygen situation. It can help you to get the control of your condition. A fingertip pulse meter is easy to use. Just clip it on your fingers, then you can get a reading for your SpO2 and the pulse rate. The second type is the handheld pulse meter. It is indicated to provide the monitoring for your SpO2 and the pulse rate with audible and visible alarms for the adult and the pediatric patients in hospitals and home. There are another kinds of pulse meters, including rest pulse meter, which can help provide screening of OSARS, vital sense monitor to provide home vital sense readings, include SPO2 and pulse rate. So that is the information for today. Uh, other information will come in soon. Let's have a preview, such as how does pulse meter work? How to choose a super pulse meter? What we should consider if the pulse meter is good or not? So thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, please email us.